first into the shark tank is Aaron Krause, who believes his product will make everyday cleaning easier. Hi, sharks. I'm Aaron Krause from Philadelphia, and I'm known as the daddy of the Scrub Daddy, the cutest but most high-tech scrubbing tool in the world. Today, I'm seeking a $100,000 investment in exchange for 10% equity in the Scrub Daddy business. It's the greatest kitchen scrubbing tool you ever used because Scrub Daddy completely changes its texture by just adjusting your water temperature. Let me show you how that works. Here I've got some hot water. Here I've got some cold water. When I immerse the scrub that is in the hot and cold water, a complete transformation occurs. Now, to show you that, I've got 10-pound weights. Here, under the 10 pounds, it's soft and compressible, and that's like a sponge. That's for your gentle scrubbing applications. But here, check that out. It's hard and firm. That's going to be for heavy-duty scrubbing applications. We burned on brown and gravy, tomato sauce, cheese, and mustard onto a glass stovetop and a stainless steel pan. I'm going to take the scrub die, and you're going to see it's just going to attack right into that burned-on mess, scrubbing it right off. And remember, I'm just using water here. There's no chemicals at all, and it's going to cut right through that. It won't scratch any of your surfaces, but it will clean them beautifully. Now, scrub die is not really smiling anymore, so I'm going to put them here in the warm water. And in just a couple seconds, voila. He's back to bright, fresh, and clean every time. Sharks, that's not just another smiling face. You put it on your hand, you can get to the bottom and clean the sides in one move. And that smiling mouth, that cleans spoons, knives, forks, spatulas, even large serving spoons on both sides at the same time. Sharks, with your help, scrub that I will be scrubbing and smiling in every kitchen in the world. Woo! Wow. Wow. Scrub Daddy. I never witnessed a live infomercial. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was incredible. Do you have samples? I do. Where are you selling this now? Thank you. Well, currently, we have it in five supermarkets in the Philadelphia area. We also sell it on our website. I've been on QVC three times over about three months. And how'd it go? Fantastic. They've invited me back over and over. And every time I go on, they reorder 30% more than the last time. So Scrub Daddy is humming. And what were your total sales? QVC, wholesale? Just north of $100,000. Only in four months. Do you have a patent on this? I actually have a patent. I have two more pending. We have the trademark. We have domain names. Okay, Aaron. What do you need the $100,000 for? What I want to do is set up an independent manufacturing facility with automated equipment. Why do you need to go into your own facility? The biggest problem is I'm on their time schedule. Are you saying that you could be making more revenue if you were 24-7 making scrub daddies? The way QVC is going, and we're just about to launch in a whole bunch of stores, we're going to need that capacity. And I have 18 years' experience running a manufacturing plant that runs 24 hours a day. I know exactly what I need to do to make this thing really efficient. And I'm looking to get a strategic partner who can open this up into the retail stores. I'm only in five supermarkets that's it what's your cost the cost to make one's about a dollar what are you selling them for about two dollars and eighty cents wholesale wholesale this needs to be in every supermarket drugstore walgreens it's so CBS. expensive mrs slavinsky goes to the store and picks this off the shelf and says hey it's a piece of foam with a smiley face on it costs two cents to make in china that's what she's thinking because a brillo pad which is traditional product